This little gizmo is called a car current tester. Measures the current. Only goes to a tenth of an amp, which is just going to measure a gross leakage, not any fine thing. Got it off eBay with a whole box of fuses for 25 bucks, almost too cheap. But anyways, you replace the fuser testing in here. It comes with a 20, but um, you plug this in the where the fuse is and you measure the current. You can just hook up amp meter in there too, but it's just kind of convenient to use. And there's the little adapter for the smaller size fuses. I've got this gizmo called the car current tester in the loop. And I've got it plugged into the fuse. And you replace the fuse that you're testing in here. Just make so you at least protect the circuit. There it is, 1.1 amps. That's because I've got the, the dome light on here. So I'm going to push this in. It says 0.1 amps, but the resolution of this is kind of hokey. It measures 0.2 on a better meter. This only measures. Now what's interesting is doing this, I heard the speakers pop, so it might be that system. The radio, the car's not on, but that's what's going on is the relay to the amplifier. Just plugging this in and out, I heard the speakers pop up here. Right here. That's what's going on. It's definite. I can hear the speakers pop. So the amplifier's on all the time. So my problem is the leakage from the batteries through the 40 amp, which is here, through the 15 that's in the car, going to the radio. And somehow the radio is keeping the power amp always on because I can hear it click. So it's either in the radio or the power amp. But just plugging this in with ignition key off, I can hear the speakers click. So it's probably the bot amp is in idle state, drawing two-tenths of an amp for the bias, and that's why it's draining the battery.